Hello, people. It is me, Kason, from Honey Croc Homestead. Good morning. Welcome to Honey Croc Homestead. Um, my name is Helix. So, it is um, about 6 o'clock in the morning. The sun's not up yet. Everybody else is still asleep. some more seeds to start and um, I'm going to start some pumpkin seeds, some, um, some corn. I let the corn soak overnight last night. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put that in some soil. And then um, we've got a pot up. Some of our herbs and some of our peppers are getting a little bit big. And strawberries as well. Some of our strawberries are getting. Oh, I'm gonna say strawberries, tomatoes. There we go. Um, and some of our tomatoes as well. They're getting a little big, so just to make sure that we don't stress them out, we're gonna get them into um, slightly bigger containers. But so we've got a couple of things that we need to this morning. I've got to make some bread. I've got to make some bread. I've got to plant some seedlings. Um, we're doing pumpkins and um, basil and lufa and got some more sage up here. I don't know why I'm putting so much sage, but I, I love it. And a couple of them shriveled up and I think it was because of the compost I was using. But, um, and also some of my tomatoes shriveled up, like, just keeled over and died and, like, started curling inwards um, on themselves really tight. Shut up. Don't do that. Do not drink out of here. He's trying to drink out of my, um, my watering can. You don't drink out of here, sir. Let me say come on more. Hello. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. Hi Peyton. We've been up for hours working. There's Kaysen over there weeding the garden. Say hi Case. Hello. We got this done a few days ago. I got it tilled. I got some of my potatoes planted and we're waiting on the other ones to dry out. Um, I actually I'm gonna try and plant those this morning if I can. And then, I did. And then right now we are clearing this that's next to that for our melons and corn and for, for my space. Why, why are you doing that? I'm trying to say hi. And I don't know whether or not I wanna keep those benches in here, we'll see. But we gotta dig out all those plants so I can put my stone seating area over there. We gotta dig those small trees out. And one of them is like under the root of that, of this big, I think that's an oak. Pretty sure it's an oak. Um, but yeah, and then, so we're gonna finish getting this land cleared today and also all back here we've got to get all of this clear um, so that we can 
plant the chickweed and the comfrey and the henbane. And there's Lovey. Good morning, Tristan. Um, she is finishing painting the fence. The fence is going to be white. Um, and she's basically only been able to do it on days where it's sunny out. And, you know, April showers bring May flowers. So it's, as you can see by how muddy it is, it's been raining. But we're getting it done. Hello, people. It is me, Kason, from Honey Crock Oakshed. As you can see, there's a lot of grass. And I have to get that up. So you basically just wait, where's my finger? Oh yeah, you you just get the grass by the seed. It said get it by the seed. Ah! It's holding on! It's, <laughs> it's holding on for dear life. As you can hear, Sarah, see this? This is what's supposed to be here. You're supposed to see this. And that's my grass pile. The grass pile grows every single second. I am trying to focus on my hand. Uh-oh. See this? Try to get off by the sound will not work because it will grow back yeah that's how you pull out grass from your beds and now i'm gonna learn how to do that like three seconds ago and each one teach one here you go mom <laughs> is he professional enough it that's not the point each one teach one <laughs> each one teach one when you learn so it's actually um, you actually retain information better when you teach someone how to do it because you're using a different part of your brain than you are when you're learning. So, he's doing exactly right. Each one, teach one. Okay, so we are about to pot up um, this corn that's been soaking for about 36 hours. Um, we're going to put it oh, in these little... Four? These are corn. It is peaches and cream, golden bantam, and stoles evergreen uh, or ever sweet. I don't know. I gotta look at the package again. Um, but yeah, we are going to go ahead and put that, pot those in here, um, just because we have a whole bunch of ants and I don't want them to eat all of my corn kernels. That's analysis, that's not reading. But it's it's also important to know that you understand what you're reading. I don't want to read the Hunger Games. Who said you had to read the Hunger Games? You I didn't say you have to read the Hunger Games. I said if you want to know what happens, you gotta read the Hunger Games. You literally you're not just made me the read the first. You're not just going to watch the movie. 
if you want to know what happens in there, you're going to read the book. After you read the book, then you can watch the movie. But Wait, no, what if I read you're the not going to take the easy day. way out. What if I read the first Hunger You did read the first Hunger Games. So, can I watch that movie? Yes. And also, I read part of Catching Fire. Okay, well, when you finish the Catching Fire book, you can I'm watch just going to go watch movie. the Catching Fire movie now. Boy, eat your food. Come on. Yeah, I can't open the banana. I tried to open the banana. Oh. But it just opened. Bring it here. Banana, 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 banana time. Banana, banana, banana time. Basically segment out, you know, plant all of one kind in each cell and then label it on the outside because it just seems like it's a little bit easier. So the first one we're going to do is the peaches and cream. And we soak these um, a little bit longer than overnight. of what's, you know, anything that could impede the growth out. You don't want to let anything stay in there. That's too big for a little seedling to push up through. We're doing this mostly because there are critters that would eat the corn seed. Um, there are ants, there are Squirrels, there are chipmunks. So we're going to go ahead and sprout it first so that they don't get absconded with. This tray is half full of peaches and cream and then half golden dancing. And we're not going to, I know people say that it's corn doesn't like to be transplanted, but We're only going to let them sprout in here. I, I don't know if that, that makes sense. We're not going to leave them in here for an extended period of time. As soon as we've already got the, the beds almost ready for the corn to go into. So as soon as these little buggers sprout, they're going right out there. I need something to pack more and just reuse. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> So the grow lights that I have on my seed starting shelf are purple. So whenever I do a video, I've got to turn them off because it makes all the lighting weird. Um, sometimes I have to get this done so I can turn the lights back on and put them over the baby seedlings need light. Um, before they germinate, most of them just need heat, and that's enough to get them to keep moisture. And that's enough to get them to germinate. But once they germinate, you want to put them under some type of light, um, like my grow light system, station, whatever. Actually, I can show you guys in the bottom of this, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. 
Bottom watering is pretty easy. You just take one of them out. Water into the little hole that it makes. And this is actually rainwater that I've collected. I'm so proud of myself, y'all. I'm um you can order these little things on Amazon that turn water bed. It's like a faucet and a connector system. I built it and drilled it and put it together um, on some old plastic drums that I had gotten off the Facebook marketplace. And it, it just, I'm um, a little proud about that. But yeah. That's what this apron is for. I keep not wanting to wipe my hands off because that's what it's for. So this is my seed starting station. Um, the lights are out right now um, because, you know, it's it's horrible lighting for a video. Um, but these are the corn that I just started. Um, I've actually got one more tray to put together. Um, there's a bunch of herbs in this one that have not yet sprouted. Um, Let's see, this one too, I've got peanuts, um, melons that I started a few days ago, cucumbers that I started a few days ago, none of this stuff has come up yet. Um, these lavender, lavender takes like a month um, to come up, so that's not coming up yet, but there's some little tomatoes that got started a few weeks ago. Um, these are some peppers that I need to separate I did three of them in the pot and then this are these are some lamb's ears that I need to separate there are four of them in this in this pot um, and then oh and then yeah there's a two zucchini that need to be separated immediately and two eggplant that need to be separated and again a bunch of lavender in here but only one and two have come up and you know I know everybody struggles with lavender but I just want it to come on um, and these are again a bunch of herbs that have not um, germinated yet and then we've got a couple of cherry seeds at the back I tried to so I soaked them and I cold stratified them and then I planted them so hopefully they'll come up I don't know um, and then this is a bunch of peppers that um, we had pretty good germination on most of these um, some of them I planted earlier than others as you can see there's a couple of these jalapenos are a little bit bigger um, and there are I think two that just okay yeah that one right there just came up my little babies um, and so these can't go out for a few more weeks. And there's also a couple of little tomatoes right here in the front, some mortgage lifters and some triple crops. Um, but the actual peppers can't go out for a few weeks because we don't want to stunt their growth. But I'm thinking the ones that are already pretty big, I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and put them outside just so they don't get root bound in here. And if it stunts them, it stumps them. But I'd rather they be stunted than dead, you know. And then up here, we've got, these are the seed potatoes that we cut up and we let them dry out. They're all leathery now um, and scabbed over. And so we're going to take all of these and put them outside um, in the... In the garden we've already got all that furrowed up and actually i think i might not have enough space for every single one of these potatoes but i'm gonna plant as many as i can Um, these are the big zucchini that we're hardening off to put outside. They look so pretty. 
Uh, and these are a couple of lamb's ear that I started at first. Um, I started both of these in the same cup and then separated them into their own little cup and those are gonna get planted out this week as well. Um, there's some eggplants right there that are gonna go out. A whole bunch of herbs, um, sage. I've got, what do we have? Some self-heal, some people call it heal all. That's right there, hey little baby. And then this one right here is valerian, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, catnip. <laughs> I was wrong. Okay, so that's catnip and then carnations right here. Um, and these are the little carnations. I love how they put up little, it looks like antenna, right? They're so cute. Um, and this one is mint, spearmint. Yep, that one's spearmint. And then a bunch of sages. And this one's got its little, it shriveled up one leaf, but the rest of them are okay. So we're still going to plant it. And then I've got a bunch of lemongrass right here um, and then some stat some stocks that are gonna go out and these are apricot stock they're supposed to be like a peachy sunset color um, and then we've got some comfrey so all four of the ones that I planted in this one came up but only one came up in this one so I'm gonna plant some more today and then We've got Echinacea, and that's the Valerian that I thought was the catnip, but they actually do look kind of simple. Well, no. No. Now that I'm looking at them, you can see the difference. All right, that's the catnip. That's the Valerian. All right, and this is White Sage. Yep, that's White Sage. And we've got chickweed over here that we're gonna plant. We cleared the land for that yesterday and some smaller valerian, but I think it'll still be okay to plant out. And then echinacea because, well, one, it's a medicinal, but they're also beautiful. Um, and then right here is, we've got spotted bee balm, and then I had some regular bee balm in there that hasn't really come up yet. So I think I'm gonna plant some more bee balm as well. Um, and so the the chickweed, the henbane, and the comfrey that are right here, those are going to go behind the chicken run, and they are specifically for the chickens. Um, are they have a bunch of protein in? It. And then here's my little baby tomatoes. These are getting planted out this week. They're getting hardened off right now.